Hi. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Fatima, and today I will present uh, the paper entitled uh, Strategy um, Addressing. Okay. A strategy addressing um, uh, prosopagnosia as a potential uh, solution. Thank you. Uh, to official uh, defect detection. So we'll start, we will cover this agenda, starting with introduction. So uh, as we noticed from the title, we talk about defects, with, which is um, 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 uh, which is a term uh, uh, describe a combination uh, of um, deep learning and fake produced uh, and Reddit website in 2017. So this term uh, used to describe uh, image, video, or audio file that has been created uh, using artificial intelligence. Uh, this technology uh, have uh, uh, facilitated uh, the possibility of manipulating digital images or video. Um, so um, another term, uh, that we will describe in this study, which is a prosopagnosia. Uh, this uh, condition, um, it's from medical field. Uh, so this condition this, uh, prevent people from uh, recognize uh, faces, um, even uh, the faces um, of those familiar, uh, uh, and also some of uh, uh, patient uh, cannot uh, even dis um, recognize their own uh, faces. So um, also this condition uh, referred to uh, as a face uh, blindness. So uh, the condition uh, may cause by um, a damage in the part uh, in the right part of the brain, uh, which is responsible for processing the facial information. Uh, the, the disorder can uh, be accurate uh, as a result of a stroke or head injury, uh, also um, any other brain um, damage, um, or, or it can be uh, uh, present uh, from the birth. So, so uh, why we choose a prosopagnosia? Uh, which is from the medical field, as we know, um, to uh, improve the defect detection methods. So uh, we think prosopagnosia and defect um, are both concerned about the same subject, uh, subject which is the face, uh, and they both try to uh, find uh, the difference between uh, similar faces which means um, they both work uh, on the same uh, basic subject. So for um, this reason, we uh, are interested uh, on using the knowledge from the medical field to improve the uh, existing defect detection method. So this study will um, look at how people with prosopagnosia recognize faces and see if uh, that knowledge can be um, um, used to develop better um, defect detection methods. So um, our aim of this study um, to assist how the process of facial recognition by individual with a prosopagnosia condition can inform facial uh, recognition models uh, for uh, accurate uh, reproduction of the images or video. So uh, to achieve this goal, uh, we um, will uh, use the medical uh, literature uh, of prosopagnosia uh, to find the relationship between uh, the medical uh, assumption regarding uh, facial recognition and current defect technology. Also, we will uh, evaluate um, how deep uh, fake detection techniques um, are currently uh, provision uh, and identify uh, any relation to uh, the medical literature. Uh, finally, we will evalu uh, evaluate uh, the coping strategy of the prosopagnosia patient and see uh, 
uh, if there is any uh, possibility to uh, employing them and uh, to develop uh, deep fake detection. So, um, because our paper is a um, review paper, so the method will, uh, we used uh, a secondary data from uh, articles published in both field defect detections and prosopagnosia. Um, the data was uh, collected from uh, the most relevant uh, database. Uh, so from the technical uh, part, we used, uh, for example, the IEEE uh, digital library, ICM digital, and other library. And uh, from the medical part, we used um, the British Medical Journal and uh, Medicine Net. Uh, and um, we use a specific uh, keyword to, to collect uh, these papers. Uh, for, for example, the image uh, and video, uh, fake image and video uh, detection, uh, deep fake, uh, and uh, from the medical like prosopagnosia, uh, face uh, blind. And all the articles were, uh, were uh, organized uh, in order based on the published uh, uh, year. So here we, uh, we can see the, the table illustrate the um, uh, defect detection part. Uh, we summarize and compare between all the available uh, defect detections. Um, um, uh, they all, um, all almost uh, 18 study uh, included in this study. Uh, so um, we compare between them based on a specific uh, criteria, like the, the techniques uh, for um, each uh, method, uh, the type of um, data, the type of um, data, and uh, important uh, criteria, which is the detection clues for each method, and as well as the accuracy for uh, each method. So uh, after we comparing them, um, we uh, classify the available defect detection methods based on the detection clues uh, into three category. Uh, biometric, uh, so this group include all the uh, methods that use um, uh, human features as, as a detection clue for uh, fake uh, images or video. And uh, anomalous uh, group, which is include all the methods that use uh, the artifacts um, uh, that uh, lift from the um, defect um, creation or process. And the last group, the compound, which is uh, all the methods that use a combination from uh, the both uh, um, detection clues. So um, also after summarizing and comparing between uh, the methods, we found that the biometric method uh, that rely on the eye region of the face achieve higher accuracy um, than the method that depend in the mouth region of the face. Uh, and also we um, uh, find that the detection methods that use a combination of a clue, which include the eye region um, of the face uh, got a highest uh, accuracy of them all based on the uh, comparative in the table. So here we have the, um, the detection uh, clues for uh, identifying faces and prosopagnosia. Uh, this table uh, illustrates how people with this disorder uh, organize, um, recognize faces. Uh, so we can notice most of them use the external feature, uh, features of the face, uh, like a hair and neck, uh, also the chin. And also they avoid um, using the information from the internal uh, uh, facial features, especially the eyes. Uh, and others use uh, non-facial uh, features um, like the body movement, uh, the skin tone, and uh, the voice. 
So after reviewing the uh, medical, uh, uh, the medical um, uh, part, uh, which is the prosopagnosia. So in this review, we cover um, how people with this disorder uh, can see faces, what kind of clues they used, uh, and also we cover um, uh, the training and uh, rehabilitation programs, uh, techniques uh, that use to improve uh, the patient's ability to recognize uh, faces. So uh, we come uh, up with some uh, points. So people with this uh, disorder have uh, a difficulty of um, holistic processing of the face, which makes them uh, need to have multiple factors to uh, recognize uh, faces. Uh, also in terms of face recognition, the eye and nose um, regions of the face um, um, are more uh, accurate than uh, the mouth region. Um, so this um, point based on the recommendation from the rehabilitation and uh, training program that use in the medical field uh, to improve people with this uh, disorder. Um, face recognition can improve by uh, uh, using multiple uh, elements as what we mentioned before. Um, people with uh, prosopagnosia often uh, focus in the external facial features uh, such as um, mouth, hair, chin, uh, also the neck, uh, and also they avoid uh, the internal uh, facial features. Uh, lastly, uh, several, uh, several uh, training uh, and rehabilitation programs are based on changing the eye movement for uh, the patient and encourage them to uh, focus more on in the internal features of the face. Oh. So after um, reviewing uh, both um, uh, field, uh, the medical... That's yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay, so uh, after reviewing both uh, fields, uh, uh, we uh, have some uh, um, similarity between uh, these uh, two uh, fields. So um, people with uh, this disorder, uh, oh, we mentioned this before. Oh, yeah. oh sorry. No. No. Okay, so uh, we have um, uh, some similarity between these uh, two uh, fields, uh, which is uh, the eye and nose um, are more uh, accurate for face uh, recognition uh, than the mouth. Uh, um, and the rehabilitation uh, and the training program uh, often focus in changing the eye movement for the uh, patient to encourage them uh, um, to um, focus more on the internal uh, facial features, uh, which lead us to this con uh, conclusion. Uh, the internal facial features, uh, the eye and the nose, can provide more information for face uh, recognition. Uh, um, also, the external, we can say that the external uh, facial features, um, especially the mouth, provide less information when it's come uh, to uh, face recognition. Uh, so um, the benefit of this uh, review is uh, using another knowledge from the medical uh, field to have more understanding of the facial features and uh, to improve the uh, available defect detection methods. Uh, to uh, be uh, more accurate to uh, detect the fake uh, images or video. So this is all what I have for you. Uh, thank you for your listening and I'm ready for any questions. <laughs>